Hello, I'm Jason and I just wanted to give you a quick little look at my uh, N-Gage model railway layout here. Now I've not touched this for a couple of years because it's been out in the conservatory and the conservatory has either been about 45 degrees centigrade in the summer and then in the winter there seemed to be a lot of condensation that was dripping on everything so I've had to cover this up. As you see here I've got these cardboard sections. There was some damage here where the water had dripped in the condensation from the roof of the conservatory so I basically had to cover it up and because of that I didn't touch it for a while so now I've I've recovered it brought it into the uh, spare room here so now I can finally start doing something with it again so all the track was laid out how I wanted it. the tracks all glued down I've got it basically two um, two separate circuits here which are running off the uh, running off this dual output controller here so this this is this outer ring these these two tracks here this whole outer ring is one circuit and then this inner sort of shunting yard is on another circuit and then there's a break there's a break in the track here between the two so I've got like the isolation uh, joints in there I don't think they'll don't think they'll show up very well on this but somewhere in there there's the isolation joints so I've got two separate circuits and I painstakingly went around and painted all the sleepers and all the edges of the track to try and give it a, a more natural brown wooden look rather than the plasticky black and bare metal because what, what I'm going for here is a um, is a sort of 1970s, 60s, 70s sort of um, heritage look so I sort of want to go for the wooden sleepers. I've got some other bits of scenery that I'll put on for another video, but so at the moment I've just sort of recovered this, uncovered it, rescued it from the conservatory, and now I've got to start um, doing some things with it again. So, so the platforms here are platforms here are stuck down. They're cardboard. There's another bit of cardboard that goes in there. So there's going to be a slightly raised section, which are these cardboard parts that aren't stuck down yet. And they're all going to need uh, gluing down properly. Once I glue those down properly, they'll um, they can then be sort of moulded in and edged in. And then there's going to be a sort of road coming down. Then a yard here, so the shunting yard is going to be on a obviously on a lower layer. So I'm going to have to put a little uh, sloping road that comes down to there. Then I've got a shed that goes over here. Again, this needs clean up. I, I tried to do this when it was in a conservatory to try and make this into a covered covered area, but I need some more filler to go in there to clean up clean up these edges around the track, and then that can all be painted the typical uh, red that you'd get inside a shed and made all nice and smooth. These are supposed to be sort of faux in, inspection pits. Obviously, I couldn't cut the pits in the wood, so I've just had to paint in there with black. So hopefully once the cover's on it, sort of will give the give the impression of an inspection pit, even if it's not really a pit and it's got sleepers in there. And the locos that I've got on there, in keeping with the heritage, I've got these Graham Farish. They're not going to show up very well on the uh, images here, but I've got a, a class forty two warship there, and I've got the uh, Burgundy class fifty two Western. Like I say then. Probably not going to show up very well at the moment. Now I've got the typical Mark One coaches. So I so say it's going to be very, very her heritage. But there you have it anyway. That's just a very brief look at the layout. And I can say, oh, I need to get the rest of the scenery, scenery on there and get these cardboard sections glued down properly. And then once they're properly glued down, I can start moulding it in. I need to give the track a little bit of a clean where it's been out in the conservatory for a while and it's got a bit grubby. But I've got the old Pico track cleaning eraser there and I need to have a run round, give the track a clean again so that I can get the trains running. But anyways, there you go, just a little brief look. Until next time, take care and I will see you soon. Bye for now.